Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Shivam from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we will discuss about Axon Quick Look app. Before proceeding further, let us take a look at agenda for today's video. In this video, we will discuss what Axon Quick Look is and what is the purpose of this client. Next, we will take a look at the installation of Quick Look. Axon Quick Look is a program which is used to perform lookup on Axon glossary items without opening the homepage of Axon. For this, users have to install the Quick Look app on their local machines and configure it with Axon server. Once configuration is successful, the clients will be able to retrieve all the glossary items from the Axon instance. Users can then search the glossary items in Axon Quick Look search page and view primary information, stakeholders, and other objects that are related to the glossary item. Before moving to the installation process, let us take a look at prerequisites for Axon Quick Look app. The first prerequisite is you must have an Axon instance with which you can configure the Quick Look app. Secondly, you must have Windows 7 or Windows 10 running on your local machine where you are going to install the Quick Look app. The third point is you should have native or ad app users in Axon. The login through SSO is not yet supported in Quick Look app. Now let us move to the installation process. Users must have Quick Look installer downloaded on their local machine. This will be a zip file. Once the zip file is extracted, you will be able to see install Windows. Run this file to initiate the installation. Once you run the batch file, the Axon Quick Look welcome screen appears. Click on next. On the next window, installers request you to provide the installation directory. If you want to go with the default installation directory, click on next. If you want to choose another installation directory, you can click these three dots available on the window. Once the desired directory is chosen, click next. On the next screen, the pre-installation summary is displayed. This will hold information about the required disk space and the currently available disk space on your local machine. To proceed further, click install. Next, the server configuration panel appears where users have to provide information about the Axon server with which they want to configure Quick Look app. The information includes protocol, host name, port number, username and password. Once the server configuration details are provided, click next. If all the information provided is correct, the installation will proceed further. Next, the preference selection screen appears where users can further customize the behavior of Quick Look app on their machine. If users want Quick Look app to be launched with system startup, they can check the first checkbox. Users can also configure the landing page in Quick Look app. For this, they can select the second checkbox. In that case, the landing page of Quick Look app will be a welcome screen. Otherwise, the landing page will be a search window. Users can also initiate the Quick Look search by a combination of keyboard keys. For this, check the third checkbox and select the combination with which you want to initiate the Quick Look search. Once the preferences are set, click Next. The post installation summary screen appears, which will display the status of installation. Click Done. Since we configured the search window as the landing window of Quick Look app, 
the search window appears post installation. Users can search for the glossary objects here in the search bar. As an example, we are going to search for a glossary item named test underscore gloss2. Click on the name of the glossary object to view the further information. The primary information appears on the screen. In addition to this, you can view the stakeholders and any linked objects to this glossary item. This was all about Axon Quick Look app and its installation. If you have any further queries or want to provide your feedback, please contact us using these tools. Thank you for watching the video.